So hi everyone, Dr. Gilmore here, and uh, I wanted to share a little story with you. I frequently receive messages from people, uh, literally uh, from around the world, uh, that ask me uh, questions. Uh, the messages are generally um, in the in the format of, I have this problem, can you tell me what to do? And while I can't give people medical advice um, over the, you know, over the internet like this, what I do is, I try to point them in the right direction uh, without being overly specific uh, about uh, treatment and things like that. Um, I think there's nothing inappropriate um, or dangerous about directing someone to the right medical care. And so I wanted to share one of these experiences with you because this is very typical uh, of what I receive and I get I do receive these frequently and I've been thinking that you all might like to share in uh, one of these stories. So. Um, I'm gonna. I'm going to um, start with uh, a e an email, and I've removed the identity of the person. But the, the it basically it says, "Hi, Dr. Gilmore. My name is and and uh, uh, this is a young lady, um, and her her nickname will be uh, uh, Rose. Let's just say it's Rose. And uh, she says, "I have a question. I've been having bumps." Uh, between my legs and armpits, squeeze it, pus comes out. There's a way. Uh, is there a way I can get it removed where it won't come out uh, anymore? Or how does how does this come to my skin? Um, and so I replied to Rose and I said, I think I may know what your problem uh, might be. Tell me what's your age now and when the bumps began showing up. Also, please send me a couple of pictures of the armpit bumps. Let's see what we can figure out. Uh, and the reason I ask for pictures of the armpit bumps is I do not want any pictures that are not uh, G-rated uh, coming across my computer from anywhere. Uh, and the reply I received was uh, from Rose. She said, I'm 21 right now, started getting them in high school, been to the doctor uh, here in Tulsa, but the they tell me because uh, I sweat uh, when I would go out. In other words, they were telling her that this is being caused because she sweats when she goes out. Uh, and uh, she said it further, I never got it fixed. I just got on two days ago and it hurts so bad and makes me cry at night and I got up and to pop it and then lots of pus comes out or came out. So I looked up a video how to remove how to remove it. I did not see anything so I s apparently I saw your video and I emailed you to see if there is a is there care for it right now? I'm at work and can send the picture later. So to see if there is a cure for it, I think is what she uh, meant to ask. Then she sent me uh, a couple of pictures. And the first picture I'm going to open up here, you can see uh, this is uh, the apparently the left axilla or left armpit. Uh, and she's done a nice job for us using a rose-colored marker uh, or I guess that would be a uh, kind of a rose, but anyway, she circled a nodule uh, under the left egg around uh, the spot in the left axilla. But if you look, uh, you can see there are other little spots where this has been a problem before. Uh, and then, of course, go to the second picture. This was apparently the right armpit, and you can see the couple of nodules. One's more irritated; it has uh, more redness to it, and then another one uh, that she's had. But you can also see where. If you follow this down further, uh, there are some old nodules, uh, looks like some scarring from uh, previous problems. Um, so I might, you might take a second here and uh, say, uh, you know, what you think this might be, what her problem is, and what you would do in the comment section. Um, and then I'll go ahead and uh, reveal the follow-up to this. But uh, I replied back to Rose and I said, I'm almost certain that you have hydradenitis separativa, which as you all know is an autoimmune disorder uh, that, um, that affects the, uh, the skin. I think you should see a dermatologist and ask them if you have HS. Uh, she's been to her doctor, she's been to other doctors, and nobody has diagnosed her with uh, HS, but I'm fairly certain that's what this is just by looking at the pictures and hearing her story. And then I also asked her if she minded uh, if we shared her story online, as long as we didn't reveal her identity. And she said uh, that's fine, um, that we share her story, and that she had just set an appointment uh, with her dermatologist or with a dermatologist. So 
an interesting story, and I'm always glad to help out whenever possible. And so, Rose, we hope that everything goes well for you, that you do get the care that you deserve. Um, and if you've seen dermatologists in the past and you haven't been diagnosed uh, properly, don't be frustrated. This is a difficult diagnosis uh, for some, some physicians to make because they just don't see many cases of it. Uh, it's more common, I think, than medical science wants to admit but um, it is often misdiagnosed. So we wish you the best and hope to hear from you again later. Thanks everybody for watching. Hey folks, you spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina and it could actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing, I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day, I've worked 12 hour shifts. I just go, go, go all day, it makes me feel great, I love it, and um, take it, it's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description.